you want to 1v1, then that's what I just pulled on you. You guys are the most offensive people I have ever played with on I'd rather Fox. fucking teabag a bear trap. Oh! <laughs> All right, DJ, what was your best moment that you ever had um, spending time, like, what was your best moment in FAG that you can think of? My best moment? Um, it would have to be the birth of my daughter. Now, that seems weird because it, it actually is an FAG moment. Um, I woke up uh, and uh, I looked on CNN. And I woke up, it was like the middle of the day, I looked on CNN, and they were saying that Michael Jackson died. And I was like, what the hell? So I wanted to go to the internet to see what, what they were saying on the internet. And as soon as I went there, my homepage was my YouTube channel, Keemstar Nation at the time, youtube.com slash Keemstar Nation. So I went there, and I noticed that I went up a thousand subscribers. And I was like, what the fuck? Why am I getting all these subs? And my first video, it was like a huge accomplishment, was on Machinima. And this was before anyone could be a Machinima director. This is when Machinima actually seeked talented people. So it was like, yeah, you know, I'm fucking around with this thing, busting my ass, and I finally made it. And then the phone rang, and, uh, you know, Melissa's like, I'm having the baby now, you need to come to the hospital. So within a matter of less than a minute, uh, Michael Jackson died. Uh, I was on Machinima, and uh, I was a father, so that's that's by far my best moment. And what was your worst moment in FAG? Worst moment? Uh, there's been a lot of them. I would have to say um, one of the moments that I'm not too proud of is the fight internally in FAG, the battle I had with Two Bucks and Robot. Um, but that's not the worst moment. The worst moment is when we finally, after months, put all our differences aside and came together strong as one group on Halo Funtage. Uh, the worst moment is when that channel was false flagged down by Marshy D and the abuse team. That was the, the lowest uh, I've ever felt in FAG. And how many bands have you had so far with Microsoft and all, and all the... I have majors? had... I've had 17... Xbox is banned, and I believe that they have stopped. I believe that they're leaving me alone now. Um, I'm still not comfortable with doing what I normally do on our live stream, uh, but I am going to make videos. Um, and the greatest thing that about that, me purchasing new Xboxes and continue to do what I do, is that really the only reason why I was allowed to do that is because of the love from the FAG fan base. Um, you know, that's where the money came from, the donations and everything. And if some of you guys are watching that ever donated to me, thank you again for uh, letting us continue. And what was your highest donation you've ever gotten? The highest donation that I've ever received, one-time donation, um, was $1,500, and that was from a, a guy. Uh, a lot of huge donations that were just absolutely ridiculous that I, I don't deserve but it just uh, it just uh, when that stuff like that happens I realize how much of an impact we really do have on people and uh, it's humbling and how long does it take for X when you get a new console or whatever how long does it take for Microsoft usually to find that you're back online doing what you usually do well it could be me streaming or uh, me making a video, they've been stalking uh, my channel. But like I said, right now it seems like they're kind of leaving me alone. There's a lot of other problems out there. And hopefully they're focusing on, you know, hackers and stuff like that. They're focused on what they need to focus on. Um, the sad thing is, is that I discovered the reason, the reason why uh, they actually started targeting me is because I changed the world. And I'm, I'm not saying this to be cocky, but I, I did it. I changed Xbox Live as we know it. Um, about six months ago, there was a huge problem on Xbox Live. I could call Xbox Live and say that my name was Exomniac03, and they would lock his account for seven days to do an investigation without having any proof whatsoever. So my accounts were constantly getting locked. I couldn't get on my uh, DJ Keemstar tag ever. I would play for two days, and then it would get locked again. And I kept calling them. I asked for a representative. Um, they wouldn't help me. So finally, I said, fuck it. And I uploaded a video. I said, listen, guys, this is how it works. I want you to just call Xbox Live 
and lock someone's account that you don't like. Let's make the problem so fucking big that they have to change it. And after that happened, it gave the Xbox Live enforcement team like a hundred times the amount of work to do. They had to investigate each case. And when they had to do that, they said, all right, we need to change our system. And they fixed it. They realized the source of that was from me. So yes, I did a great thing for the Xbox Live community, and I, I actually changed it to protect us gamers. But in return, they came and focused on me to try to get payback and, and ban my Xboxes over and over again. So if I had to do it all over again, you know, I would do it again with my middle finger in the air. Uh, because what I did was, was just, and I, I believe that. And a lot of people are complaining that you're not posting new videos. You're mainly posting videos that you posted about a year, that you recorded a year, a year and a half ago. And peop, like a lot of people are wondering when you're going to start recording new videos, like Black Ops this and is, all that. This is what the old FAG fans understand, and this is what the new FAG fans, the new fags, don't understand. Um, we had a channel called Halo Funtage, and I had over 14 channels that got shut down due to internet wars, but we have legendary videos which build this, this huge thing called FAG, and they are, they are all gone. They're not on the internet anymore, and it's because of these channels getting shut down. It is very important, um, because this is our history, that we re-upload those videos, and we get them back up so they exist, so they can be viewed. And we plan on doing this for years to come, all right? So people need to see the start. So what we did is we decided to take a 90-day break. I had Xbox Live Enforcement team up my ass. I said, fuck it. Let's just sit for 90 days. Let's upload all our classics because we need to get our history back up there. Let's take a break. Let's go on vacation, and then let's return. And I'm proud to announce right here on this interview that we're back. In fact, uh, there should be a new video by the time this gets up called FAG's Back that I just released on Halo a -Hole. so that we're back, we're ready to get right back into action and entertain you guys again. Now, what games are FAG playing most now? I'll be honest, Halo Reach was an absolute fail. The funniest thing, and the most surprising thing, and this is going to be most surprising to all our fans, because most of our fans are Halo-based fans. Alright, that's where we came up. Halo 3 was the greatest game. I'd wake up in the morning, and when I went to bed, I would be playing Halo 3 all day. Halo Reach, I could not do that. Halo Reach was not fun. Halo Reach sucked. And I'm not the only one that felt that way. Robot felt that way. Two Bucks felt that way. And so did Duranker. When Black Ops came out, we all just started playing Black Ops. And when the map pack came out for Halo Reach, you know, I was like, you know what? This is ridiculous. I should have bought that. But I talked to Duranker. I'm like, did you get the map pack? He goes, no, I'm not going to buy it. I talked to Two Bucks. Did you get the map pack? He goes, no, I'm not going to buy it. I don't even play that game. And Robot said the same. So I was just absolutely shocked. I mean, and I'm sure some of the fans are shocked that, yeah, we bought Halo Reach and we, we, we played it for a little bit, but we don't play the game at all, and we didn't even buy the new map pack. So we're playing uh, Black Ops. Uh, that's what we're doing now. I did buy Tron. I'm hoping to make some uh, good briefing videos in Tron. But my primary uh, goal of lately is to build a new Minecraft channel. It's called Minecraft Stars. And uh, Two Bucks bought a server, and he's running it. And I have my own server that we're running. And uh, we're just making epic videos on Minecraft. But at the same time, we are going to be making FAG videos on Black Ops, on Halo A-Holes, and maybe some other first-person shooter games. And on the Halo A-Holes channel, we know that Duranker has his own channel, and Two Bucks has two of his own channels. Um, would you consider the Halo A-Holes your own channel? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I, I uh, made the channel uh, with Robot. Uh, as soon as it was made, uh, Two Bucks was in a state of depression um, because Halo Fontage was his baby. So Two Bucks just wasn't around uh, when we started it. Uh, it was really all me. I went and uh, talked to some of the biggest people on YouTube, uh, a lot of Call of Duty people, uh, Jaws, I talked to Cam. I talked to uh, uh, even Hutch, Nanners, you name it. But everyone that was big on YouTube, I talked to, uh, FPS Kyle, and I asked them for help. I said, look, this is what happened to us. And to my surprise, they were all fans of ours. All these big people on YouTube already seen our videos, already loved our videos, that were subscribed, and they wanted to help. 
I organized the whole thing, and you know, since that time, Halo A Holes has really been my my channel. Um, which some of the fans don't like because let's be honest, who's the most hated member uh, in FAG? Me, of course. And and I don't I don't I don't have a problem with that. I mean, that's kind of by design. I, I live and breathe asshole. I, when fans come up to me, they're real excited, you know, oh, I'm going to get to meet DJ Keemstar. When I go tell them to fuck off, you fucking fanboy faggot, um, then they know the, the real meaning of uh, FAG. So, um, I don't, I don't, I'm not upset that uh, I'm the most hated member, but sometimes it's kind of bad for the channel being seeing how I'm the one that uploads the most videos there. But the other guys, they're coming around and we're all going to start uploading videos right there at, at Halo A-Holes. We do consider that our main channel, all of us. So how many, on average, how many videos are posted a day by all the channels, like Two Bucks' channel, Duranker's channel, your channel? How many videos are posted like that, oh God, that I, has to do I with FAG. Even, I don't even know. To have to do with FAG, uh, really it's just been the classics. But like I said, we're getting back in the game now. I know Two Bucks is really busy with his gameplays 24-7. You know, Dranker has his own project. Robot has his own project going on. We kind of branched off to, to do our own thing. I've been building the live stream and building the website. We have a new website, ableslaves.com, that, that's taken off. And, uh, you know, we, we're dipping our toes into uh, a little bit of everything. The most exciting thing is that uh, the guy that runs Battle Cam, Elkie David, he's actually uh, a billionaire, and he's been talking to G4, and they're trying to get us some type of TV show. So uh, that's, that's, I don't know if that's going to happen, but if it does, it's going to be monumental. And a lot of people, like, they wonder about why how why are people like every time they check your subscriptions it's either at 70,000 or 71,000 what's your opinion on the unsubbing and subbing like what what do you think is causing that well there's two things one is people are actually unsubbing because we're not uploading new stuff and the other thing is that me and robot are banning about 200 people a day we're, we're literally banning 200 people a day and to be honest, um, I kind of feel bad for that. I'd like to unban those people um, sometimes. But I don't know, you know, I just love being an asshole. And when someone talks shit, I like to send them a personal message saying, hey, guess what? I've, I've silenced you, motherfucker. You're blocked. I'm just a dick. And it, it's, it's, sometimes I'm a dick to my own fans. I just, you know, that's who I am. I live and breathe uh, being an asshole. And, um, and that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, fuck off, faggots, I'm done. The Federation of Asshole Gamers.